<clears throat> Without further ado, so we're happy to have Julian Gao from uh, University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign telling us about curved neighborhoods in, uh, in minimal degree. Please take it away, Julian. All right. Um, well, thank you for the introduction and invitation. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about some joint work with uh, Jiang Gao from Harvard and uh, Yibo Gao from uh, Peking University. Um, okay, so... Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, okay, so uh, we consider the complete flag variety uh, over C. Um, so the co-module ring of the flag variety is a uh, free C module generated by the Schubert classes. These are the uh, co-module classes of uh, opposite Schubert varieties. Uh, so the uh, famous Schubert calculus problem asks for a combinatorial interpretation for the structure constant, uh, where we take product of two uh, Schubert classes and expand it. Um, uh, back into um, uh, some of a uh, combination of Schubert classes. Um, so the uh, quantum cohomology ring, uh, QH, uh, which is isomorphic to the cohomology ring, uh, tensor with a uh, polynomial ring over n minus one variables, uh, is a free ZQ module uh, generated again by these Schubert classes. Uh, the product uh, in the quantum cohomology ring, uh, this uh, star, uh, this quantum product, uh, is a, uh, a deformation of the usual cohomology product uh, of, um, uh, of the cohomology ring. Uh, so in particular, if we set uh, this Q, uh, all of the Qs to be zero, uh, then we recover the, um, uh, the, uh, the product, uh, the expansion in the uh, cohomology ring of black property. Uh, and so, um, and moreover, if we have uh, all of the, the Ds, um, well, here the D is the degree where uh, all Di's are non-negative integers. Uh, if you have uh, all the Di's to be zero, uh, oh, right, sorry. Uh, so the um, the structure of uh, these quantum products is given by something called the uh, gromov witten invariants. Uh, so these are, uh, again, non-negative integers where uh, we would recover these uh, Schubert structure constants if we have all of these uh, to be zero. Uh, so there's a, a natural partial order on uh, these degree Ds that appear uh, in a, a quantum product, uh, meaning that uh, if we have, um, oh, well, it's given by uh, divisibility of uh, these monomials Q to D. And today we'll uh, focus on uh, the, the smallest uh, Q to D that appears uh, in this product. Uh, and more importantly, the, um, this um, the, uh, quantum product in that minimal degree. Okay, so uh, the work of Foot and Woodward uh, back in 2004 uh, characterized uh, these minimal quantum degrees that appear in the, in the product in terms of uh, degrees of chains of permutations. Uh, the work of Posnikov relates uh, all, all of the quantum degrees uh, that appear in the product to uh, weights of paths on uh, something called the quantum Bruja graph. And moreover, he proved that there is a unique minimal degree, uh, Q to the mean, uh, meaning that if we look at this product and look at this expansion and look at all the degrees that appear, uh, there's a unique one uh, where uh, this sequence of integers di is entry-wise smaller than all the other degrees that appear. Uh, and more recently, uh, the work of uh, Book Chang, Li, and Michal Cha relate each, uh, each of the di's uh, in this minimal Q to D uh, to the minimal quantum degree in the quantum cohomology uh, of Grassmannian. And uh, the work of Schiffler uh, study these uh, minimal quantum degrees uh, using something called the Maya diagram. Okay, so um, so to study these um, uh, these quantum products and these um, uh, gromov witten invariants, uh, Book, Chapu, Mihalcha, and Perrin uh, define something called the curve neighborhood. Uh, so if we fix uh, two permutations u and v, and we fix a degree. Uh, so this, uh, this is just a sequence of uh, n minus one non-negative integers. Uh, the two-pointed curve neighborhood is the union of all degree D rational curves uh, passing through the opposite Schubert variety XU and the Schubert variety XV. Um, so this is uh, very closely related to uh, this quantum product. Uh, so when 
uh, when QTD appears uh, in the product, uh, the cohomology class of our of our curve neighborhood uh, is in fact uh, one over C times uh, the uh, Q to the D uh, part of the expansion uh, of our quantum product uh, for some uh, non uh, for some positive integer C. Uh, so one can think of uh, these curved neighborhoods as a quantum version of uh, Richardson varieties. Um, so. Um, uh, maybe the name curve neighborhood is uh, foreign to uh, uh, many of you guys, but uh, we've probably all seen uh, some examples of it. Uh, so for example, in the Grassmannian, uh, the work of Knuth and Lamb Aspire proved that uh, all of these curved neighborhoods are uh, actually instances of positive varieties. Uh, so these curved neighborhoods are in fact a proper subset of uh, the set of all positive varieties. Uh, so the work uh, is uh, generalized by uh, book Chapu, Michal, Shai, and Perrin, uh to all commensal GMP, p where they show that uh, all of these curved neighborhoods are uh, images of Richardson varieties under the natural projection from GMP p to GMP. p uh, So in the complete flag variety case, uh, if we set d to be, uh, you know, all of the i's to be zero, then the curved neighborhood is just the Richardson variety. Um, and if uh, D is um, uh, almost zero, so everything is zero except one entry, uh, one of the I is one, uh, then the work of Lee and Michalcha proved that this uh, curved neighborhood is again a Richardson variety, but with um, uh, possibly different uh, permutation to U and B. Uh, so if uh, we set U to be the identity, uh, so the curved neighborhood will be, uh, we'll be looking at uh, the union of all curves passing through uh, this uh, super variety XV. Uh, this is uh, in fact also a super variety. Uh, this is worked down by Book and Michalcha. And in uh, all these cases, uh, this uh, constant C um, in the equation here are all one. Um, so uh, these uh, cohomology class of the curved neighborhood, uh, in fact, just is the uh, Q to D part or that degree piece of our uh, quantum product. Uh, but in general, uh, meaning let's say we, uh, uh, in general in the complete flag variety case, uh, we don't know uh, which flag uh, lies in the curved neighborhood for some arbitrary D. And the uh, goal of uh, the talk today would be, ooh, sorry, something about the uh, Wait, sorry, let me stop the share and share it again. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so the goal today would be uh, to give a to give a concrete description uh, where uh, uh, the degree is the unique minimal degree uh, that appears uh, in the uh, in the quantum product, and we want to uh, we'll do it in terms of uh, certain rank conditions. Uh, so uh, uh, before we get into the uh, specific of uh, this description, let me first introduce something called the uh, shifted Gale order. Uh, so for uh, integer a uh, in one through n, uh, we define this total ordering of one through n where we set a to be the smallest one and a minus one to be the largest one. So it goes a, a plus one, all the way to n, and then uh, which is less than or equals to one, uh, and which is less than or equals to uh, all the way to uh, a minus one. Uh, so the uh, shifted Gale order on uh, on uh, the set of k element subsets of one through n is defined uh, by, if we take i and j, we reorder uh, their elements in terms of this total ordering of n. Uh, we say i is less than equals to j under this uh, uh, shifted order given by a, if um, i is entry-wise less than equals to j. So i m is less than equals to j m under this um, uh, total ordering given by a. Um, so it is a fact that 
uh, for any two given permutations U and V, uh, there always exists a sequence A uh, consisting of uh, n minus one integers uh, in one through n, such that uh, if we uh, such that UK, which is the first K element of the first K numbers in the one line notation of U, is less than or equals to the first K numbers in one line notation of V under this um, uh, this shifted Gale order given by AK. Uh, in this case, we'll write uh, u less than or equals to v under this order given by the sequence a. Uh, so this uh, this ordering actually comes from uh, the combinatorics of uh, something called the uh, tilted Bruja order, uh, but we won't uh, get into that uh, in today's talk. Uh, so for example, if we set uh, u to be the permutation for three, two, one, v to be the permutation three, one, four, two. Uh, we can just set a to be uh, the sequence four two two, uh, and we can check. So um, so u one is four, v one is three. So under this um, total ordering, where four is the smallest, uh, we have four less than equals to three. Um, so if we look at the first two elements, uh, we have three four and three one. Uh, under the total ordering, uh, where two is the smallest, or well, we have three equals three and four is less than one. Um, and similarly, if we have, uh, if we look at the first three numbers, uh, we have two, three, four comparing with three, four, one. And we can check that uh, two is less than, less than three, three is less than four and four is less than one in this uh, um, shifted order given by two. Okay, so, um, so motivated by uh, this, uh, um, this partial order uh, with uh, Gian and Ebo, we define something uh, called, uh, we define the uh, open and closed tilted Richardson varieties. Uh, and as the name suggests, it's, um, it's fairly similar to uh, Richardson varieties. Um, so if we uh, take a uh, invertible n by n matrix and think of uh, the um, associated flag, which is give, where the case flag is given by the column span of the first k column vectors. Uh, the Richardson varieties are defined in terms of certain southwest and uh, uh, northwest and southwest rank conditions uh, on these uh, invertible and in matrices. Uh, so the uh, tilted Richardson varieties are defined fairly similarly, but uh, with a with a twist. And I'll explain that uh, with an example. Uh, so let's take uh, u to be a permutation for the q1. Uh, so this is the uh, coordinate flag uh, given by this permutation matrix. Um, we set v to be 3, 1, 4, 2. Uh, remember, we're looking at uh, uh, these flags in terms of uh, column spans. So uh, that's 3, 1, 4, 2. And as before, we have uh, a uh, the sequence a to be uh, 4, 2, 2. And we represent it uh, using this uh, red lines. Uh, and we think of it as if we are looking at the first column, we make uh, the first, the fourth row to be the top row and the third row to be the bottom row. Uh, so for, uh, if we're looking at the first two columns, uh, this part, this segment uh, of the red line tells us that uh, the second row, or we should think of the second row as the top row and the first row to be the bottom row. Uh, and similarly for the uh, uh, for this segment uh, where the second row is the top row, the first row is, is the bottom row. Okay, so uh, uh, if we fix k equals two, uh, the rank condition defining uh, uh, tilted Richardson varieties, uh, uh, this will be uh, there will be six rank conditions uh, concerning the first two columns that defines uh, this T U V A. Uh, uh, so uh, we would have uh, we we would ask uh, this one by two sub matrix, uh, this region in green, uh, to have rank at most the number of stars, uh, which is number of uh, is represented by uh, by the first two numbers of u, um, uh, uh, less than equals to the number of stars in this green area, which is zero. Uh, we want the rank of this two by two matrix. Uh, to be less than or equal to the number of stars, which is one, and this two by three matrix to have rank at most two. So 
these are the uh, sort of corresponding uh, northwest uh, rank conditions um, in, terms of, in terms of rich. Uh, similar to the richest of varieties. And similarly, we would ask uh, this one by two uh, matrix to have rank at most uh, number of uh, these blue dots, uh, which is one in this case. And this uh, two by two matrix in yellow uh, to have rank uh, at most one. And this uh, three by two matrix uh, to have rank at most two. Um, so, there are a uh, total of six rank conditions uh, for each k in uh, uh, equals one, two, or three. And so in total, there will be uh, 18 rank conditions that defines this uh, tilted ratio of varieties. And uh, if we replace uh, this uh, less than or equals to with uh, equalities uh, in this rank condition, uh, this gives us the uh, definition of the open tilted ratio of varieties. Okay, so uh, our main theorem. So first of all, uh, both the um, the closed, open and closed tilted ratio sum varieties are independent of the choice of A, uh, as long as U is less than or equals to B under this um, uh, order given by A. Uh, so we'll uh, remove this A in the notation and just denote them as TUB and TUB circ. Um, so we in fact have a uh, stratification of uh, these tilted Richardson varieties given uh, in terms of these open ones. Um, so here the uh, description is in terms of uh, these uh, partial orders given by A. There's a more natural um, uh, natural uh, interpretation in terms of sub-intervals in the tilted Bruja order. Um, and- I'm supposed uh, to yeah. give you a three minute warning. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, in fact, uh, the- uh, tilted Richardson variety TUV is the closure of the open tilted Richardson variety uh, TUV circuit. Um, so uh, we show that uh, these uh, tilted Richardson varieties are irreducible, and they are in fact just the uh, curve neighborhood uh, in a minimal uh, quantum degree. Uh, and moreover, we show that the cohomology class um, is in fact just the uh, Q to D mean uh, degree expansion of the quantum product. So the uh, one over C um, uh, in the previous slides, uh, so the C uh, in our previous slide is just one. And I will stop here. Thank you very much for a wonderful talk.